Hey, can you see my browser, my chart? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. yes. Any busy bees in the in the training tonight? Any busy bees? Please own up. Don't have me. Really? No busy bees? Jillian, you are one of them. I no, remember. I don't think I was a busy bee yesterday, not me. <laughs> not you, uh. but you say you're busy uh, to trade, too busy to trade. I'm not saying I'm busy to trade, I'm just figuring Never. out the last few days, all the <laughs> administrating things to set up the account <laughs> Never everywhere. Mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All the busy bees don't dare to show face, <laughs> don't dare to raise their hands. Okay, never mind. For the busy bees, okay, remember all you need to do is just trade Solana this week. And uh, what, what do you see over here? One day chart. What is this candlestick pattern? Hmm? Can anyone tell me? Okay, non busy bees also can tell me. What is this candlestick pattern? Three black crows. What? No. Three black crows up. Uh. No. Three Which black crows. Uh, yeah, or the three, three red candlesticks. Oh, this are uh, you don't see this uh, see this 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 one. Long wait on the top means bearish, right? Not necessary. Okay, three black crows appear. Who's that who said three black crows? Uh? Harvey, ah? Of course, it's Harvey. La. <laughs> Ong. Mr. Ong. Okay, three black crows appear where? Appear on top of uh, at the peak. Not at the bottom. Okay. This is a piercing line. Ah. A piercing line is a bullish candlestick pattern. But of course, uh, we still have about uh, eight. 10 hours more to go, okay? Until 8 a.m. tomorrow to see what this candlestick pattern uh, ends up being, okay? But as of now, it's a piercing line. Hopefully, it's gonna be uh, engulfing. The MACD yes, really looks very pink. You still have uh, 10 more hours to go until 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, but currently, like currently it is uh, a piercing line and it has already bounced of two dollars uh, twelve dollars as i said on sunday okay this is a very strong support for solana so those who have listened to me you could have put your buy limit orders here okay i said if it breaks down twelve dollars we short if it bounces from twelve dollars we long right so it has already bounced okay we go to look at a one hour chart okay it has bounced here uh at Twelve dollars and uh, the low is you see this number here. Huh? Okay, six actually eleven dollars and ninety six cents. Okay, it bounced off eleven dollars and ninety six cents. When uh, ten a.m. this morning. So all of you have. Plenty of time to, to key in your orders before you go to work. Right? If you if you wake, woke up at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, okay, the usual time for people working 9 to 5, probably you wake up at 6 o'clock. Right? So you would have plenty of time to key in your uh, limit orders here. So don't, don't say no time, okay? Can you repeat right. again? Long orders, is it? Huh? What? Can you repeat? Because uh, I, I couldn't I don't I couldn't catch what you say. What order again? Limit orders, buy limit. Buy limit uh, for long, okay. 
Well, oh, now gone already. In, now gone. In criteria, in criteria, don't any <laughs> Uh, I think she only caught the office. long part only. I think this morning, okay, those of you, before you go to work, you woke up at 6 o'clock, 7, 8, 9. Okay, even at uh, 10 o'clock, you, you could have still put in an order, right? So absolutely no excuse that you don't have time to trade, okay, or, or what, right? This was the so perfect... So now miss really la. <laughs> miss really. This was the perfect chance for you to trade, okay? I mentioned about this on Sunday, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, like I said, trading is very simple, okay? It's, it's, you just trade according to your lifestyle. There's always a chance for you to trade on. Don't worry. Okay? And the chance just appeared this morning. <clears throat> so if you didn't uh, take that opportunity, you need to, you need to knock your own head, knock your head <clears throat> yourself. Okay. Anyway, ciao already. Okay. You lost about uh, if you exited here la, it will be 33 percent okay but now you are you still be in seven you still be in profit 17 percent okay if you had entered okay if you have quite quite listen to me okay entered you will still make 17 percent even spot also good okay it's still 17 percent right if you put a thousand dollars in you still make 170 dollars <coughs> Right, and your this week quota settled soft 10%. Cow team Monday already, already hit quota. You can relax for the rest of the week, right? So next week, another 10%, and then the following, another 10%. Okay, do it for 52 consecutive weeks. One year later, you have $142,000. Simple, right? Yeah, so you all missed one week already. How? So next week start as a first week, <laughs> yeah, wait for it to come down. Huh? There's, a, there's always a chance to come down. And I tell you, $12, $12 is a very strong support. I just look at the $12. Okay, so same old thing. If it breaks $12, you short. If it bounces again, you long. And this second time you miss again, huh? you don't know what to do. You have to mute, you have to pull your own ears. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start. All right. <clears throat> buy bit. So this is how uh, the buy bit interface looks like. Very uh looks very similar to KuCoin, uh Binance. Okay. Right. Like I said, all the exchanges out there look pretty similar. Okay, they are like what they are like a clone of another. Okay, just slight differences only. So uh, you see here, it's almost similar to, to KuCoin, right? If you want to trade spot, come here, just like KuCoin, uh, come here. Click. Hello, okay, why hang? Anyway, guys, are you all using VPN to, to watch this training? Nope. Need Some of VPN. you, but yeah, if, you let, if not, you can't log in to buy, buy bit. Are you all using VPN to log in? Should, should be, all right? Yes. To log yes. in, yes. So on your site. When you use a VPN and Zoom, is your buy bit hung? Seems okay. Seems okay. Kevin, I think you try to close window and reopen. Then you off your VPN first, then you'll be on again. It'll be easier. Uh, you okay? Wait, close first. Ah, uh. you mean what? Close my window, yeah. Just close window, okay. Close and close and view. close window, close VPN on VPN, then open window.
Worst case scenario is we start laptop, but don't think you need to. Lah. Usually I do that, can ready. Yeah, just bear with me. Are you able to take questions, Kelly? Yeah, and? I was just wondering because my portfolio is not very big. So do I need to open so many accounts with different exchanges? Or should I focus on one or two? Well, you can focus one or two first. But sooner or later, well, that depends on whether you want to expand your portfolio or not. Or do you want it to stay this size forever? If you want to expand your portfolio, okay. Uh, you can don't open so many exchanges if you intend to move everything to your nano lecture. Okay. Hmm. Yep. And we are talking about only moving coins, right? Uh yes. What else do you want to move besides coins? <laughs> what uh, else can you move besides coins? Uh USDT. You can move futures. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean USDT is also a coin. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a stable coin, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kelvin, meanwhile, while you're waiting, I you can you comment a bit on the USDT? A lot of, like there's a lot of uh, fat around USDT that they cannot they don't have enough collect collateral to actually uh cover the amount of USDT, right? Mm. Like all this information anyway, we it's gonna be very hard for us to check uh, since USDT is like all around the place. But mm. personally yourself, like do you prefer to use like BUSD, USDT, or USDC? I mean all is the same, right? Yeah. I prefer to use USDT. So I've been hearing the same fact since 2017 about USDT. So every time they, they came out, all right. Uh, 
Um, so Kevin, can I ask what's what's caused the the pegging that day for the USDT? I have no idea. They say it's some technical error or what? Oh, okay, algorithm thing lah. Yeah, so algorithm uh, algorithm thing. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Thing should be able. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It should be okay now, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. All right. Okay, can you see my uh Bybit interface? User interface? Okay, good. Okay, as you can as you notice, it's almost similar to KuCoin, right? You come over here if you want to trade uh spot. Okay, go to spot trading, come over here, trade. Click spot trading, then you can uh, buy and sell coins over here. <clears throat> okay, All right. So over here is almost similar to KuCoin. Here you use limit orders, use market order. Then this is uh, if you want to take profit, TP stop loss. Okay, that means you can set a uh, 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 your your TP and stop loss over here, right? This is for you to buy. Let's say you after you buy, right? You have your coin. Then you come over here. You set your take profit and stop loss. Okay. Then they also have a condition can kind of conditional order, where you can you can set is something like a two coins uh, OCO, so you set two conditional order. For example, uh, one for stop loss, one for take profit. So one will cancel the other, right? <clears throat> okay. Right, it's almost the same. Okay, All right. Then next, uh, and then another thing is, um, This quick order placement is this thing over here. Yeah. If you find this thing is very irritating, it, 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 it blocks your, your chart, right? You can just close it okay, by clicking here. You don't, want to, you don't want the quick order placement. Anyway, it's a market order if you use that. So you pay more fees. Right? So I prefer to, to get rid of it. Anyway, I won't. I don't use market order to buy or sell, so I don't need that. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So you get your usual uh, panel here that shows you your your orders, so your order type, okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. Okay. Then your buy and sell button over here. All right. Okay, you see this type of BTC 3L, 3S. Okay, this is a margin. Huh? So don't touch. Don't, don't anyhow click. Click the wrong uh, pair. Okay. Make sure it's always a uh, BTC. Okay. Then over here, this is where you find your coins, all the coins that you want to buy or, you know, or sell. Okay, remember, don't click all this. Huh? ETH, 3L. 3L, then there is uh, S, S is for short. Okay, so remember, don't, don't click. So if you see 5X there, that means you can use up to uh, 5X uh, leverage margin okay, to, to buy ADA. Okay, that means let's say uh, you, want to, you want to buy ADA, you can borrow up to five times from Bybit to buy your ADA. So obviously, if you borrow money from Bybit, you 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 need to pay interest. I don't know how much is the interest because I don't trade margin. So never never try to use margin. Okay, and then avoid all this long and short. Two L means two times margin long, two times margin short. Okay, so my advice is uh save save those uh those favorite coins into your 
you know, save those coins that you like into your favorite watch list. Okay. Right? By, by clicking the stars beside it, then you save it into your favorites list. So let's say, uh, okay, let's say you like it. Okay, you save Ape into your favorite list. Uh, Ape is, is in my bear market coins list. Uh, Atom also. So Atom, you, know, you save it. Then uh, AVEX. Okay. So every time you, you come to your spot trading panel, all you need to do is just go to the favorites wallet. Okay. And pick your favorite coins. So ignore the rest of the coins out there. They are... I didn't actually count how many coins Bybit have, but I know there's a lot, okay, about at least 200. I, I'm, I don't like to scroll and scroll and scroll to go and find Solana, for example, as all the way down. <laughs> all right, and now I'm only at NP, right? Not even to S yet. Okay, I, I don't like that. So I just come here, pick my coin, Solana, and then, uh, Boom, okay, I'm at the Solana chart. <clears throat> yeah, I can buy or sell Solana. Okay, that's what I do. Okay, so next, futures trading. So same, come to derivative, just like KuCoin, go to USDT Perpetual, <clears throat> click it. Then now you're yeah, at the futures trading panel. <clears throat> okay, so when you have the futures trading panel, first thing come here. Okay. Position mode, choose one way, not hatch mode. All right. Then your take profit, stop loss preference, choose selected position. Okay, so make sure it is one way mode and uh, TPSL on selected position. So the rest you don't need to touch. Okay, uh, if you like a, a light team, okay, you like to get blind, then you use white color. Lah. If you like me, don't like to get blind, get blinded, <laughs> then you choose a dark mode. <clears throat> okay, so. How to trade futures on uh, on Bybit? Okay, very simple. <clears throat> Same thing. Okay, come over here. All right, select a coin or add them into your favorites list. Okay, by the way, Bit is the the native token for Bybit. So I think if I don't know if you stick if you stick bit or if you have certain number of bits in your in your account you can save you can save on the fees further right just like FTX just like Binance just like KuCoin oh by the way if you use if you use KCS KCS is the native coin for KuCoin so if you use KCS to pay for the fees I think you got additional twenty percent uh discount on your fees on top of whatever discount you're having now. All right. So if you're like that, then uh, buy some KCS. Uh, and then select uh, to, to, pay, to pay your fees uh, with KCS. Okay. So, so all is uh, all, uh, all, all the USDT perpetual futures that you can find over here. Right. Uh, uh, sorry. Besides USDT, you have your USDC perpetuals, everything all, all, all jumbled up here. Okay. Then if you just want USDT perpetual, you click here, USDT perpetual. So you only see USDT pairs. Then this is USDC perpetuals. Okay. For whatever reasons, okay, if some of you like to trade with USDC, then uh, this is where you go. Okay, don't choose the wrong pairs, huh? Okay, USDT is USDT, USDC is USDC. Okay. You can't use USDC to trade USDT pairs or vice versa. 
All right. Okay. So Solana, Matic, uh, DYDX, KBNB. Okay, okay, just just for example, lah. Uh, okay, I save them into my favorite watch list. Okay, so let's go to Solana. Okay, Solana got fire. Okay, this is a hot coin. They don't have the top gainer uh, list, but then you look at the fire mode. Lah. Uh, no, lah. no. No, lah. no. Lah. <laughs> I don't know what the fire is. So I just anyhow say that. <laughs> it means it's a hot point. Lah. Probably a lot of people are, are trading it. What is wrong with the chart today? Huh? Monday blues. Don't like that, Lee. Hmm. Hey, it was okay just now. Why like that now? Yeah, never mind. All right. Every time I use Zoom and uh, VPN together, you will have this problem. Okay, so let's let's uh let's do a demo on uh, on Bitcoin. Okay, so let's say I want to long, I want to buy, I want to long it. All right. So very simple. Just come over here. <clears throat> Limit order. Right. How much you want to want to want to long it? At okay, so let's say uh sixteen seven eighty. Okay, All right. So now the, the thing about buy uh, buy bit is the calculator sucks. Okay, why I say suck because it doesn't allow me to calculate my position size. All right, I don't know why. Okay, it doesn't allow me, doesn't have the feature to let me calculate my position size. Okay, that sucks. Because that's very important. Okay, if you don't know a position size, how do you know how much to buy? Right? Okay. So what I do is uh is either you use the your 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 phone calculator or you go to this website. Okay, you go to this website. To use the calculator. All right, I put it onto the chat. Okay, this website is free one. Huh? No, need to, no need to pay. <clears throat> Everyone got it? You all get it? TradeCrypto.co.za position size calculator. Okay, just save it. Yes. Save it in your browser uh, menu. Okay. All right. Okay. So 
how to use okay very simple your account size okay let's say one thousand dollars okay you put over here you put uh you put your account size then your risk five percent four percent whatever percent okay so our rule is uh, we don't go higher than five percent okay you can go down but you cannot go up try not to la, not say cannot la. okay anyway your position size is up uh, your risk is up to you so we recommend five so we put five okay so you know your risk amount is fifty dollars so let's say your for whatever reason you keep losing right your account goes down to maybe 950 okay then you cannot risk more than 47 dollars and 50 cents okay the thing about position sizing is uh is if you keep if you're on a losing streak okay that means you keep losing okay your your account size keep going down okay your risk amount also goes down <clears throat> That means you don't revenge trade. You don't, well, I put $400 in now, you know, because you lose a lot, you're very angry, you want to revenge trade. Then you put $400 or, or you increase your risk amount to, to $400, half of, your, half of your account size. Okay. So that is, that is not being a disciplined trader. A disciplined trader means one who follows his or her own rules. Okay. So if you're on a losing streak, and if you follow this strictly, okay, you will not burst your account easily. In fact, you won't burst your account at all. Okay. If you happen to go all the way until $400, you lose more than 50% of your account already. Then you only risk $20. Lah. Okay. If you feel that no meat, then too bad. All right. Okay, you stick to your rules. Because if you don't stick, okay, this four hundred dollars will be gone in no time. Okay. Okay. Well, of course, if let's say your your account starts to grow, right, then you can risk more. Okay, but still, stick to the five percent rule. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So let's say we have one thousand dollars. Okay, risk amount fifty. So come back to the charts. <clears throat> Okay, we want to enter somewhere around 16,008. Then we want to put our stop loss at uh, around, around here. Okay, let's say 15,000. Okay, let's say 15,000. Right? So you come to this calculator. You put over here, entry price 16,800. Stop loss 15,000. Okay, so this will be your position size in tokens. 0 0.2779 okay, something, right? Okay. Okay, this is a copy, paste here. That's our position size according to this setup. Okay, entry here, stop loss here. So far, so good, guys. Understand or not? Then, then uh, Kelvin, you see, uh, you, before you put your order up there, there's this cross 10x thing. Then you you look uh, pull down that, that table, got cross, got isolated. What do you have to do with that one? This one, yeah. What does it mean? Uh? Wait, la. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So fast, any questions regarding what I just shared? Okay. Okay, this is okay. a calculator position size so that you don't burst your account, so that you don't do crazy things. Okay. Because as I said, Bybit's calculator is different from FTX calculator and KuCoin's calculator. It doesn't, it doesn't calculate that, you know, that $50 part. You know, the, remember the, the P and L part? Okay, we said it cannot go above $50. If let's say your account is $1,000, yeah, it doesn't have that. So no choice. Okay. I, I use this. Either that or use your use your phone calculator. <clears throat> okay, the formula is in your slides. Those who attended the my advanced DA. Okay, remember the formula, the, the risk management. Okay, that's the formula. Okay, which is already programmed into this calculator. Lah. So we don't have to memorize the formula. Okay. So over here you can calculate the liquidation price if you want to. So let's say you want to use 10 x leverage okay 
your quantity is 0 0.027, 0 0.027. Okay. Entry price is 16,800. So your liquidation price will be 15,204. So if you're longing, okay, should your stop loss be above the liquidation price or below the liquidation price? It is not a trick question. This is a common sense question. Should your stop loss be above liquidation or below liquidation price? Liquidation price, that means you're all your money gone. That means when, the, when Bitcoin hit this price, all your money will be gone. Above. Above. Above, right? Common sense. Okay. So, so since our stop loss is how much? 15,000, right? So it's yes. above, correct? Or below? 15,000 is above or below? Below. Below. So cannot, cannot take 15,000 as a stop loss. Because before you hit your stop loss, the position is gone. Your whole position is gone because you get liquidated already. Game over. So no choice, right? We need to put above 15,000. How much again? 15,000. How much was the liquidation price, guys? 15,200, I think. <laughs> okay. Jillian yeah, is as forgetful as me. I also forget. <laughs> Already. Oh, Quantity is 0 0.027. Entry price 16,800. Okay, 15,204. <laughs> okay, I think you are right, Julian. Uh, good memory. Okay, so 15,002. Okay, 15,000 cannot. Cannot put our stop loss so low. Okay, so this is the previous low. Okay, then we put 15,300. Okay, 15,004 also can. Okay, so our stop loss will be 15,004. Then come over here, change. 15,004. And now we can put more. 0 0.035. Okay, 0 0.035. Okay, so over here is where we choose our leverage. Okay, for Bitcoin, we can go all the way to 100. Anybody want to go all the way to 100? <laughs> okay, so you see what happens when you we when put 100x? Huh? All the way to 100. Okay. Quantity 0 0.027. Wait, uh, 0 0.027. Yeah, just now was 0 0.027. Okay. Entry price 16,800. So now you see what is the liquidation price? A drop will be only you get. Yeah, game over. Gone. Psst, kaput. Done. No need to play. So, in other words, the higher the leverage, the tighter your stop loss need to be. Otherwise, you get liquidated easily. So don't play, play. Okay? Don't try to be funny. 100x all the time. Or oh, excited. That's why I say you can get excited. Okay, but cannot touch. Okay? Maximum 20x. Since you guys are, are playing with 20x in FTX. Maximum. Okay, but I would suggest ideal is 10x. All right. Okay. So if you go lower, for example, let's say you go all the way to 3x. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want to type here better. Lah. Okay. You can see your liquidation price goes down even further. So the smaller the leverage, the further the liquidation price is from the entry. So it's a balancing act. Okay, you need to balance. Okay. So what I normally do is I will look for my stop loss first according to the charts. So according to the chart, my stop loss is it should be this is let's say this, I take this uh, previous low. So my stop loss is anything below 15,004. 
Okay. Then I will come over here and I will look at what is the liquidation price. Okay. After, after I got my position size. Okay. So now we take 0 0.035. Okay. My entry price is 16,800. So liquidation price eighty three dollars. Uh, confirm won't hit one, right? <laughs> if you use one X. So this liquidation price is calculated based on how much money you have in your account. Okay. You get what I'm saying? The more money you have in your account, that means the the more collateral you can use in the position, the further the liquidation price will be from your from your uh from your entry. Okay, and always choose isolated. Okay, because if you choose cross, the account will take everything from your account. Everything, I'm sorry, the exchange will take everything from your account as collateral. Okay, currently we are only putting in about $59. The cost is about $59 on 10x leverage. Okay, but my account is $1,000. So if you use cross, okay, the exchange will take that whole $1,000 as collateral. And you don't want that. Okay. You want to choose isolated. Okay, isolated. If you choose isolated, the account will only take this amount as collateral. That means maximum you lose is this amount of money, not your whole entire account. So that's why people, if they're not careful, they don't know how to trade, don't they use cross, okay? That's how they blow their entire account and then they also don't know why. Okay? So always choose isolated. So long or short. Okay, now we are longing. Okay, this is the, this is our position size according to the calculator. Okay, so now let's see how high we can go, okay? Remember our 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 previous low is what fifteen thousand four hundred something, right? Is it correct? Fifteen thousand four hundred something. Yes or no? Hello, is it 15,400 something? Yes. Yes. Yeah, 15,460. So where should my liquidation price be? Below it, right? Yes. Yeah, why cannot come back up? Okay, something is wrong with my laptop today. <laughs> Okay. So should my liquidation price be above that previous low or below that previous low? Below. Below, ah. Uh? Okay. So cannot exceed 15,460. So that means this is the as high as I can go. I cannot go 20x. 20x above exceed already, above the, the previous low already. So I can only go like that about. 12. Okay, I'm teaching you guys risk management. Oh, exit cannot. It's 15,560. So not even 12, 11. Okay, that's the maximum leverage I can go, I can use. If I want to, if I want to uh, stick to my, my risk management strictly. Okay, so 11x. Okay, this setup, entry, quantity, leverage. Okay, so come back here. Choose 11. To select isolated. Remember, isolated. Okay, not cross. Okay, if you want to know the full meaning, the, the difference between these two, you can read here. Okay, what's the meaning of cross? What's the meaning of isolated? Okay, right. So, 
choose 11. Or if you would like round figure 10, okay, anything, go ahead. That means cannot, as long as below 11, can really. Okay, so that's the highest we can go. All right. So how many? So limit 11, order price 16,800, quantity 0 0.035. So this would be your cost. I mean, it's not 1,000 bucks. You are using $54 okay, as cost to pay for this, 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 uh, this trade. Okay, but your position size is uh, 588 USDT. This is your position size because you are using 11X. Hey, Kelvin, this is actually what I wanted to ask. The cost, right? Is the amount that you immediately need to pay or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Immediately need to means pay. Ah, so to means to put this trade, isn't it? You lose $56, $54. Uh, you won't lose $54. Somewhere close to $54. So isn't it like already 5% of our loss? Of our account size? Yeah, it's precisely 5%. La. Not more than 5%. La. Oh, okay, okay. So means like if we get stopped out, then this is the cost yes. we need to pay. La. You see, just now, why 11x? Because our liquidation price is very close to the stop loss, ma. Yeah, so so can I say that this cost is actually the price that you have to pay in the event that your stop loss gets hit? La. Your maximum loss, la, basically. No, as long as your stop loss is be above, above your liquidation price, you won't lose $54. Okay, remember what's your liquidation price? What's our liquidation price? Okay, you, you choose your liquidation price, All right? And we go again, 0 0.035. That's our quantity according to the, the position size calculator. This is our entry according to the chart, okay? If our, if we don't use leverage, then the liquidation price is $83 all the way to 83 bucks, which I don't think it will hit, lah, huh? okay, All right? So if you use 10x leverage, then this would be your liquidation price, 15,002. That means if the price hit 15,002, all this will be gone based on 10x leverage. But if your stop loss is above 15,002, above, okay? Then you won't lose everything. Sorry, Kevin. You may say all these will be lost. Can you point to me which one is the thing that's going to be lost again? Your position, your position. This, your cost. This is your cost. This your cost. Okay, but what's the position size that you're putting? Like one thousand dollar, five hundred dollars, or how much? Zero three five. Okay. Oh, this is ah. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, in FTX, we used to key in this. We don't key in this. You know what I'm saying? We used to, we are too used to keying in dollars. You know, $100, $1,000, you know, okay. But in other exchanges all over the world, all right, what they do is they key in the quantity. The quantity of the, the coin. Lah. Okay, I understand. So this is your position size. This is your cost. Alvin, so the cost is actually if I hit liquidation, that is the maximum money that yeah. I will lose. Right? This is the maximum money you, you will okay. lose if it goes isolated. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay. If you choose cross, and if I put available balance here, $1,000. Okay. Now your liquidation price goes down to 0 0.5, 50 cents. Why? Because instead of 50 something dollars now, the exchange uses $1,000 as collateral. So since now you have more money as collateral, your liquidation price goes down uh, all the way to 50 cents. Uh. If let's say you have $100 in the account, okay? It means now you have lesser money for collateral. So now your liquidation price becomes $14,000. It goes back, it goes up from 50 cents. You get what I'm saying? Anyone lost?
So nobody is lost, huh? Okay, good. Yeah, okay, understood. And now you understand between isolated and cross. So don't, don't, so be careful, okay? Be careful. Cross, if you're not careful, your entire account will be gone. But of course, in this case, we don't think so, lah, right? Because Bitcoin won't, won't go down to 50 cents. Lah. Okay. So what I'm so you need to learn how to balance lah. It's a balancing act. Okay, between between the entry, the stop loss, and your leverage. Okay. So if now we know the liquidation price is 15,002, that means my stop loss has to be above 15,002. Okay. Because if below, you might as well don't put. <laughs> right. Once the price hits 15,200, all this gone already. Your, your position is liquidated. No, your stop loss don't even need to bother. Okay. So we put above 15,002. No choice. If you want to put 10x. Okay. Okay. Right. So you choose whether you want to put 15,002 or 15,003. Or 15,400. Yeah, as long as you don't go below 15,002. Okay, which is fine. Right? Anyway, our rule is to put stop loss below previous low. Mark. So we can choose 15,004, 15,003, 15,002, 15,250, 15,350, whatever. Lah. As long as it's above the liquidation price, you won't lose everything here. Okay. Uh, okay. I can win. There's no like sub account. No here. Is it? No. Uh, oh, okay. 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 So I will take fifteen thousand four. Or fifteen thousand three. Okay. Doesn't matter. Like, I need a few dollars. Okay. So let's say I take fifteen thousand three as my uh, stop loss. So next, what, what should I do, right? So come over here, same as KuCoin, okay? Click, buy or long with TP or SL, okay? So I want to set my stop loss at 15,300. All right? So if this is hit, I will lose $52. Mm, cannot. Okay, I cannot lose more than 52, uh, $50. Uh, 15,004 can. 15,350 cannot. 15,360 cannot. 15,370. Okay, just like it's still out by five cents. Okay, so this is my stop loss. Cannot go any, any more higher. We can go higher. Lah. Okay, but I want to be as far away as possible from my entry. Mark. So this is the furthest I can go, 15,380. So this figure okay, is below this, uh, but above the liquidation price. So I will maximum I will lose is $49.70, uh, which is within my 5% rule. So what do I do? Click enter, buy. You all get it? Hello? Yes. yes. You don't keep the take profit. Lah. Okay, take profit. You, okay, if you keep your take profit, then after that, uh, you, you can you can take partial profit. Lah. So you can choose not to key in, uh, take profit. Okay. Once, it, once the order is filled, then you, you, know, you key in manually if you want to take partial profit. Okay. If you don't want to take partial profit, then you key in your take profit. No? So let's say I take profit here, for example. Uh, okay. I, I don't want to measure whether is it 1.5 or, or 2 risk to reward ratio. Okay. I just take this as an example. Okay. Let's say 18,200. Okay. Let me get 18,005. 
So if you say that's your take profit, then put 18,005 here. Okay, done. Click buy long. So far, everybody get it. Uh? And this is how I trade. Remember, you all can don't follow me. Uh. Okay. You can anyhow put here, anyhow put here, up to you. Okay. But this is how I trade because I don't want to burst my account. Okay. I've done it before. I don't want to do it again. It's not fun. Okay. So I'm very careful when I trade. I stick to my rules. Okay. So basically, what I'm sure what I want to show you all is how to key in your take profit, your stop loss, your order price, and your quantity. Okay. And how I determine my position size is I use my I use this calculator. Okay. And how I get the numbers here is based on my entry price and my stop loss. And how I get my entry price and stop loss is based on the chart. Okay. Not, nothing to do with my feelings. Okay. Nothing to do with emotions. It's everything is technical. So you guys come up with your own set of rules, okay, your own strategy, right? If you all feel that you can risk more, go ahead. If you think that you cannot risk so much, reduce, okay? If you think that, oh, $50 cost is too little, no meat, okay, then you buy three Bitcoin or more meat? $5,000 over dollars. Enough or not? Then probably you need more money in your account. Now. <laughs> okay, so got it. Hello, guys. Okay, got it. Thanks. Okay, so let's let's get buy some let's buy some Bitcoin. Let's okay. Let's assume everything is calculated. Okay. Uh, all right. For this test, lah, huh? test only. I don't want to use too much money for testing. Okay, so let's let's say this is my cost. Okay, I want to buy 0 0.001 Bitcoin at uh, okay, I put a 50 because I want it to execute immediately. So assume this is the price I want to pay. This is my uh, take profit, this is my stop loss. Okay, I click buy. Confirm. Okay. Hmm. I haven't feel yet. Okay, I haven't feel and then I cancel uh eight four six. Eight seven zero. Okay. One thing good about Bybit is you can shift like FTX, unlike KuCoin. Okay, you can move it up and down. Yeah, feel like quickly feel. Kelvin, I just want to check uh, Susu here. I just joined. Uh, the, when I go into Bybit, they say you want to unify the account. Uh. The margin account. Uh. Do you unify oh, no. or no? Okay. No. Yeah, no. Okay, la, fed up. I use I use market order la. <laughs> Don't wait.
Wow, market order give me 17,000. Uh. The price now is only how much? 16,008. That's why I see guys, don't use market order. <laughs> Not only do you pay more fees, uh, sometimes the price you get, or oh, see, give me 17,000 when the market is only 16,008. Uh, lucky 0 0.001. <laughs> okay, so see immediately 12% loss. Bloody hell, market order. Okay, so this is what happens when you or you when you bought the when you when you when your order is executed. Okay, so your, your position will be here. Okay, so there are a few ways to set. Take profit and stop loss after your order is filled. Okay, of course, what the, the, the first way earlier I showed you is to use this, lah, right? So, so once the order is filled, immediately your take profit and stop loss uh, will be will be entered. Okay, but just now we, we tried to use market order. I don't know why this thing come out. Yeah. So somebody so actually, actually uh Javier. Yeah. Actually, just now, right, when you put the market order 16,800 at the time, oh, uh, I already received notification like uh, 30 seconds before. Uh, the price is actually 17,000 already. Eh. So I don't know why. I think this Vibe is lagging. Eh. Is the, price that is, the price that is on Vibe, uh, is it? Um, how to say? Uh, what, what, how, how do they determine their price? Maybe because my I have, I, I don't know lah, but because my ho, I got a Hopi account ma. that Hopi account right, always what is, your, what is your what is the price on your Bybit, guys? What is it? How much on your Bybit? 69.73 Oh, okay. Sixteen nine something, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit lagging. I, okay, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using I it never happened to me before. Maybe it's because I'm using Zoom and and uh the VPN together. Okay, that doesn't matter, lah, okay. Uh now it's sixteen thousand nine. Okay, it doesn't matter, okay. What I just show you is how to buy or how to how to long or how to short a coin. So that part, anyone have any problems or not? Okay. Setting your leverage, using limit orders or market orders. Anyone has any problems with that part? Anyone? Hello, uh, Kevin. Uh, hello, Kevin. Felicia here. Yeah. Just to check, uh, to open a uh, Bybit account, must, must, I must have a VPN, is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Singapore is one of the restricted countries. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, so my position is in. I want to see a cool thing. Uh. Okay. Guys, the best is we, we just speak up if you have questions. Uh, huh? Right. Because the chat box is closed. I close the chat box so that it doesn't block my screen. So if you type on the chat box, I cannot see one. Huh? Any questions? Don't have. Okay, you want to see a cool thing, guys? Sorry, Kevin, can I just check the VPN? Uh, I have to subscribe, right? Mm, yes. Two dog. Oh, okay. No free one, right? <laughs> no. I mean, have la, but lousy la, free one. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. That's the reason why they are free. It's, it's slow, la. it's slow. And okay, it's just okay. a few dollars a day, uh, a month only, a few dollars a month, uh, not even a day. Uh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. So do you want to see a cool thing? 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Sorry, sorry. How do you fund this? This is also by MetaMask. Ah. How do you fund this? Ah? First, you need to ah. buy USDT. Buy what? Sorry? Buy USDT. You need to buy USDT in order to trade on Binance, KuCoin. Who is that? Who asked this question? Valerie. You can buy from Rash. Valerie, Valerie, I missed your earlier mention. This, you buy from this I platform. From Rash. No, you cannot buy from this platform. You can buy from Rash. Okay. You can buy from this platform, but it's going to be expensive because you, you can use credit card to buy, but it's expensive. La. The rates are not good. So you oh. buy from Rash. You can buy from Rash. That's the fastest way. Is there any other option besides buying from him? If you uh, have no other exchange, you can also transfer. I yeah. transfer from my KuCoin account just to try out small amount. It went through uh, almost like just one, two minutes very fast. I don't have any USDT. <laughs> oh. No, she, Jillian, she, she wants to have USDT. Yeah, then you have to buy them. If you already have in other exchange, then transfer. You, buy from, you can buy from Rash. That's one way. Okay, the other way is you register an account with Gemini or Independent Reserve. Okay, these are MAS license exchange. So you can transfer funds from DBS to Gemini or DBS to Independent Reserve, just like how you transfer money to FTX. Then okay, in those exchange, right, your, your, your SING dollar becomes USD, right? Okay. So you use USD to buy USDT at those exchanges. Okay. At those okay. exchanges. Then you transfer here. Okay. Okay. But we can we can trade in Gemini also, right? Yeah, can. But buying from Resh is the best because Resh will do the transfer, so you don't have to. <laughs> and his rates are pretty good. And his rates are pretty good. Oh, thanks, okay. Kevin. So can I come to the cool thing or not now? <laughs> go, go. Again, again. The cool thing or not? Okay, so let's say initially I long, right? Right? I long, correct? Initially? Yes. yes. Okay, then now suddenly you see the price going down. Oh, oh shit, how are? Uh? Going down there. Eh? So you can turn this into a shot. Tung. It becomes a shot. Wow, just by clicking. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> cool, right? But Very then the cool. stop loss and take profit, eh? Huh? The stop loss. You'll be cancelled. Oh, then you have to reboot again. Ah. Yeah. So now this becomes a short. So a long, over here, your long position here, is cancelled already. Ah. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's closed already. Initially, I, I, I long, right? Green is long, red is short. So remember my entry price was 17,000? Okay, uh, sorry, this is yesterday. I, I, did, I did some, uh, sorry, this, is, uh, this was in June. Okay, don't, don't see this. This one just now, just now. Earlier, my entry was 17,000 something, right? Yeah. So once you change, once you change it, this has to be closed, right? this, this order. Before this order can be opened, right? Yes. Hello, guys. Yeah. yeah. So instead of closing this manually, then go and key in again. Everything is done automatically at just one click of a button. So this is closed for you, right? At at this price. Actually, I made some money. Okay, <laughs> four cents. Okay. Then the exchange will open another short position for you at where you close. Kelvin, uh, you okay. here. Uh. Now make money when, again. <laughs> when you swap this, uh, from from long to short, right? Your uh, max risk is it still the same or? What? Uh, it's different already. And would you know the max loss if you do the swap? Because that depends on where you put your stop loss. 
but here because all the stop loss will be cancelled already, right? So you got yeah. to redo so you need your to know where your stop loss is, no? You need to recalculate where your stop loss is, lah. Okay. This is good for scalping, right? Yeah. So you see, just now I made some money. <laughs> I bought at uh, 24 cents, ma. so it went up to 92. I closed, right? Because I see the price coming down. So I made money here. Then I now I'm making money here again. So when up, I make money. Go down, I make money. This this one, cool, right? Very cool. Kelvin, can KuCoin do this also? <clears throat> Cannot. Cannot. Alamak. Okay, time to move already. <laughs> Okay, so cannot. Cannot. Okay, so now my position is short. Okay, so how do I? So there's a few ways. Okay, let's now now assume this is a new, not assume this is this is a new trade. Okay, it's a new entry, it's a short. Okay, so there are a few ways to take profit. You first way you can choose here. One of the ways. This is a market order if you choose here. Okay. So you just click plus, I know you you click. Add. Okay. Add. Then you add your TP and stop loss. Lah. So we 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 yeah, we we shorted somewhere here around 17k. Okay. So let's assume I want to take profit at 16,000. Okay. Now assume all your assume uh, the, the chart, right? I want to take profit at 16,000. Then my stop loss is at uh let's assume eighteen thousand. Okay, so what is my quantity? How many how many bitcoins did I did I buy earlier? Zero point zero zero one. Okay, so that was my quantity zero point zero one. Zero zero one. <clears throat> okay, just check everything done. Okay, entry price. Okay, liquidation price eighteen seven. Uh, my stop loss is 18. Okay, so it's below 18.7. Okay, okay, good. Hmm? Oh, okay. My bad. Okay, see? So the thing came out, right? And just like FTX, we can... Okay, this thing is very irritating. Where should I put it? Uh? Okay, put it here. So just like FTX, you can shift up and down. KuCoin cannot. All right? Okay, I see amending. So your, your stop loss has... Um, I, my stop loss has been amended from 18,000 to 18,102. Okay. So take profit. Okay, let's say I go down, right? So amending, okay, right. It's just the FTX. So you're not happy, you want to switch again, switch lah. Then this will be gone. You need to key in again your take profit and loss. So shall I switch? Now looks like I'm going to long, right? Yeah, I'll switch lah, yeah, for fun. <laughs> hey, why do money? I thought uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, so switch again. Then you gotta rekey in again. Okay. Then what if you want to take partial profit? Okay, now this is a uh, long, ah. Uh, Okay, let's say uh, I want to take partial profit. That's the reason why over here, you need to choose TPSL on selected position, okay, not entire position. Because if you, if you choose TPSL on entire position, you cannot use this to set Partial profit. Okay, because it is entire position, right? So that's why I, I like to I like to use uh 
on selected position. Okay, so now. Okay. Let's say my now my stop loss is here 15,600. 15,600. Okay, my first TP, 18,000, for example. Okay. So, how many percent do you want to take at TP1? You decide. Okay. Let's say you. Oh, yeah, sorry, 18,000. Okay, let's say you want to take 50%. So what is 50% of 0 0.001? You cannot. So small. Yeah. Cannot, not, not enough decimal point. So I need to go and buy another, another 0.0. .0 you know, I buy 0 0.02. Okay, <clears throat> now, now I have three. Okay, assuming I have three Bitcoin. Uh. Okay, so 18,000, 16,000, stop loss, take profit 18,000, but I only want to take one third. So I put 0 0.01 here. Okay, uh, TP1, I take one third. Okay. Then over here, you also have to type 0 0.01. <laughs> okay, this is like one position. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot. Okay, so this is my stop loss. This is my TP1. Okay, I only want to sell one. Then you click details. This is your first TP. Second TP, you click add. Second TP, let's say 19,000. Okay, stop loss the same. Let's say I want to take another one third. Okay. All right. Another one third. So click confirm. Okay. TP2. Next. TP3. Let's say uh, 20,000. Same stop loss is the same. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Okay, done. <coughs> okay, TP1, TP2, TP3. You want to cancel all? Cancel all. If you just want to cancel individually, you just click this dustbin over here. If you want to make uh, adjustments, click this pen icon over here. And all these cool coins don't have, right? Okay. So TP1, TP2, TP3. Okay, if you're not happy, you can you can do shifting. Okay. So let's say if the price goes up, TP1 is hit. Okay. This order is taken out because it's filled. Then one of these order will be taken out also. So you're, ne you're left with 0 0.002 Bitcoin. Okay. Then if it continues to go up, second TP is hit. Okay, this order will be filled, it will be removed. Another order will be removed from here. 
then you're left with 0 0.01 here at the at your stop loss, 0 0.01 here at your TP3. So far, so good. How to, how to use this feature here? You all know already, right? Any questions regarding this feature? TP stop loss. Okay, this is a market order. Huh? But once you set this, you cannot do reversal already, huh? Can. Then all this will be cancelled. Huh? I don't see the two arrow. Eh? Okay. Reverse position. Oh. Then all these orders will be cancelled. You're going to key in again. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Cancel all. Okay, so let's say if you don't like to use this feature, okay, you can come over here and use conditional order. Okay, it is very similar to KuCoin. <clears throat> so over here, conditional order is, uh, is something like uh, KuCoin's OCO. One, can, one order cancel the other. Okay, just uh, over here, you got to type in two orders. Lah. One is take profit, one is stop loss. But over here, using conditional order is a limit order. Over here, using this is a market order. So you decide whether you want to use market orders or limit orders. Okay. So let's say let's let's put our stop loss first. Okay, stop loss yeah, sixteen thousand around there. Okay, my stop loss order price sixteen thousand. So quantity is now if you click 100 uh, it goes to 0 0.617 but i only bought 0 0.03 why so much okay because it take into account your whole your whole entire account size and i have one thousand dollars here so obviously i click hundred dollars it becomes 0 0.617 okay, which is the cost uh, which is close to one thousand okay so don't ever use don't blur blur uh, go and click this uh, 100 then after that you didn't check <laughs> okay then you go and uh you go and click sell you think you're you think you think you're actually setting a stop loss but you're not uh, right okay so your position is 0 0.03 this position you want to set stop loss okay this is a stop loss so stop loss at 16,000 trigger above 16,000 right so let's say maybe you put $16,050, sorry above. Okay, remember, click close on trigger. This is like reduce only in FTX, but over here is close on trigger. Okay, that means when, when the price hits the trigger price, this $16,000 will be added into the order book. And this order is close. I mean, what's post only? Huh? What's that post only? Okay. Yeah. Can we write? Da 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 da. Okay. Okay. So, don't click. <laughs> if I don't, if I didn't tell you to click, you don't click. Okay. Those I tell you to click, you click. Okay, so you click on close on trigger. This is a must. Because if you don't click on close on trigger, it, it won't close. As you can read, as you can, you know, I'm sure you all can read the, the explanation, right? The close order will only reduce the position size. Remember, it's like a reduce only order. So in FTX, it's called reduce only. Okay, over here, it's called close on trigger. Lah. Okay, actually, it's, it's a reduce only order. Lah. Okay, so remember, click close on trigger. <laughs> Once everything is fine. So do I click buy or sell? This is a stop loss. Guys, green or red? Sell. Red. 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 Stop. 
Yeah, because it's a stop loss. <laughs> Okay, stop loss here. So the order will appear here under conditional. Okay, next, I want to set take profit. Ah, this is this. So over over here, when you use conditional order, you can also set uh TP1, TP2, TP3. Okay, just make sure your quantity is not 0 0.03. La. So same thing, let's say I want if I want to close the whole position on just one price. Then I just put one, I just use one TP. Lah. Let's say 18,000. Okay, 18,000 is my TP. 18,000 is my TP. So trigger price slightly below 18,000 is 7,950, for example. Okay, so that is I almost forgot. Okay, don't forget. Lah. So, okay, TP. <clears throat> if you're not happy with it, you find it's too low to move up. Lah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to be greedy, you go move all the way up here. <laughs> right? Okay. So, so how to set a uh, TP1, TP2, TP3, very simple. Okay, order price, TP1, this is TP1. I want to take one third, okay, 33%, so 0 0.01, click sell. Okay, 0 0.01, next. TP, let's say 19,000. Okay, this one, 18,000. Okay, slightly below 19,000. Sell. Okay, limit order again. Okay. Oops. Supposed to be 0, 0. 0.001. So actually, instead of cancelling, you can also make adjustments here. Okay, instead of deleting the order key in again, you can make adjustments here. All right, the price also can. Okay, the quantity also can. The trigger price also can. Right. So I still have one more, one more Bitcoin. So how? Thirty P twenty thousand. Then this will be nineteen nine nine five zero. Close on trigger sell. All right, done. Now these are all limit orders. Okay, so if the price come down here, okay, you get stopped up. All these will be automatically cancelled. Okay. So any questions regarding Helvin, this, this is part. this is um limit order, right? Your condition you're using limit order, right? Condition is limit order. Yeah, so but just now, just now right. So my question is. Just now, remember you use a buy long with L, right? Buy what? Or, or if you want to 
sell it, you can choose sell short with TPSL also. Mm. What's the difference between this and the conditional market? Leh? Conditional market is market order. Lah. Okay, then, then the sell short with TP slash SL is also market order? Yeah. This, this conditional... Okay, this conditional, you can set TP1, TP2, TP3. Yeah, you can use market order also. Uh, I don't know why it's the same. <laughs> but Tell I use me. this for market orders. La. For market order, I use that one just now. Just now. Right, just right, now. right. Yeah, for limit orders, I use this. Okay. Yeah. Understand. Thank you. Yeah. How come you don't just use the limit itself? Ah? Where? Then got, got three, got limit, got market, got conditional. Ah. This one, right? Yeah, hmm. correct. This one is for entering. Oh, okay. It's like your limit order in the FTX like that. Lah. Right. This one is like your take profit limit, take profit, you know. Oh, is the take profit part lah. Okay. So that means uh, now that the one that you said is the stop loss and the take profit conditional is the for selling because you are longing it right at the limit now lah. Yeah. Okay. You just remember, okay, when you enter, you use limit or market orders depending on you. Okay, when you enter a, a trade. Limit or market? Okay, most of us we will use limit lah, right? Because we don't we don't pay a higher fee ma. Yeah, unless you are you are, unless you want you want to ex, ex, you want your order to execute immediately, then you use limit lah. Okay, so after you you have a position, okay, you want to take profit, you come to conditional. So this one all it's like a two step one lah. Yeah, it's, it's just an FTX, you have stop limit, right? And stop market, yeah. right? Down, down here, don't have. So this is your stop limit and stop market. And your take profit limit and take profit market. Something like that. Eh? That's why you have your limit and market here. Ma. Okay, understand. Then um, yeah. the you don't need to click close on trigger, la, right? No, must. Must, ah. okay. Ah. Even the limit order also must put close on trigger also, right? Uh, no need. When you enter, you don't have to do anything. Oh, you don't have to do you don't need to put reduce only, man? No need because you don't even have a position yet. Reduce what? Oh, okay. <coughs> it's just an FTX. Only the stop loss and take profit, they need to trigger it, lah, like close on trigger. Yeah, okay. stop loss, take profit, conditional. Okay? Close on trigger. See, you read that the close order will only reduce your position. Uh, can we can we in the conditional uh what what position before the our order is filled? Cannot. Oh, it has to be filled after fill only we can clean the condition. Yeah. Oh, that means if we want to go to sleep, we we, we cannot. Oh. When you want to go to sleep, limit order, ma? Limit order. Uh, but once it is filled <laughs> while we are sleeping, then this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Use that one. But we can't use oh the condition. We don't have to use this at all. Nope. Okay, it's, it's, okay. This is for, remember, conditional order is for setting TP and stop loss. Mm -hmm. This is for entering as well as this. You enter a trade, you use a limit order or market order, right? Buy limit or sell limit. Or buy market or sell market. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you want everything, autom everything put in one shot, okay, click here if you are longing. Click here if you are shorting. Uh, they can okay. go to sleep. Okay. You get what I mean? But, uh, that will be the market, market, lah, is it? What you got? Okay. Now, all these are market orders. Market orders, lah. all right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. 
So if you all if you all don't mind, I mean if you all feel that market order is very simple, you don't you don't mind paying a higher, a slightly little more, slightly little bit more fee for the convenience, then use market order lah. It's very convenient. That's why they charge you higher now. It's for convenience. <laughs> okay. So this is one way. Set everything, go to sleep. Use market order. Okay. Then the other way is enter first, then you set your market order. Then you use this. So after you set, okay, you can also go to sleep. Okay. Third way is if you want to, if you don't want to use market order, you die die want to use limit order, then come to conditioner. And then make sure it's set at limit. Okay. It's it's so it's very simple. Once once you get what used to it, is it's I tell you you will like why bit lah. Especially this cool feature here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not moving on. Hey, no wonder you one day chat. Hey. <laughs> Okay, any questions? Kelvin, between Bybit and Binance, right, which interface is more user-friendly? Both are the same with slight differences. As I said, KuCoin, Binance, Bybit, the interface is pretty similar. Only FTX is very different from the rest. Okay. But the option for Binance is more. Hmm? Options for Binance is more. La. Coins are. Yes, correct. Uh, I think so. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go and count one by one. <laughs> but I think so. Yeah. Once you know how to use Bybit, you know how to use Binance. Okay, you know how to use KuCoin. Okay, once you know how to use KuCoin, you know how to use Bybit. Okay, the only difference is this conditional part only. The rest are pretty similar. Okay. Right. So once you know how to use them, you can open Binance, Bybit, KuCoin one at one at one shot and then start trading on three accounts at the same time it's all the same one it's that you have three sub accounts in ftx just that they are different companies different exchanges and they all use usdt right ah uh, okay so if let's say let's say you you want to trade with a uh, huge amounts of money let's say you got ten thousand dollars uh, to, to to play with so don't put every don't put all ten thousand into one exchange you know i hope and all can transfer uh, to the meta mass is it yeah i mean i i, I think by now everyone should have learned a lesson already lah, huh? so you have a ten thousand dollars don't put everything into buy bit or binance or what split them are three thousand in binance three thousand in kucoin three thousand in uh, buy bit right you find that not that's not enough. You can you can trade on OKX, Huobi, uh, what's the third one? Maxi. Okay, their interface is very similar. So open six exchanges at one shot. <laughs> so six positions, each exchange one position. That means each exchange one coin. Six positions at, at open at the same time is more than enough, lah, huh, guys. You are not supposed to open more than two. I mean, for me, lah, not more than two, two trades <clears throat> at one go. Now, Rash, give you all five, right? I don't know, five or six. Can't remember. Yeah. Okay. So split your accounts. Uh, split your funds over over different exchanges. So you decide uh, how much. Sorry. Uh, what about the the what? Uh, DYDX or the, the that one is that one is decentralized exchange uh. yeah. That one maybe yeah. some other time I give a training on that uh. Okay. Okay. 
sure. that one has lesser, coins, has lesser coins to trade. Maybe you get bought, you know, like no coins to trade. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. We just Not try this few, few that you recommend first. Huh? Sure. Yeah. So you decide how much you can afford to, to lose in an exchange. Then you put it there. Right. If you feel that you no know, one thousand is is the maximum like that you 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 can afford to lose in an exchange, then each exchange you put one thousand lah. They won't all fall at the same time, right? So if one fall, you only lose one thousand more. Then you have the other uh, the, the other accounts to make back that one thousand ma by shorting the market. I mean, if an exchange for the market should should collapse one lah, and that's a good shorting time. So all the exchanges you shot, 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 you make back what you lose in that account that, 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 that got closed down, right? So when you make more than 1,000, you transfer the extra to your MetaMask. In other words, you always keep about 1,000 in each account. How to transfer? Ah? Have you transferred crypto from wallet to wallet before? Uh, not really. One time only, I think. Uh, one time, that's the way you transfer. Lah. The is the redraw or the deposit one. If you deposit, it's take the, the MetaMask deposit. Um yeah. so in, oh. uh, in, oh, in let's say you want to transfer to MetaMask, obviously over here is withdraw. Okay. Then MetaMask is deposit. Okay, next time. And vice versa. Yeah. Right. So you can you can do it every week or do it every month. It's up to you. It is like every every month end you 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 transfer everything to your MetaMask and then leave one thousand dollars here. Let me see that you 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 transfer your winnings uh, to MetaMask. So every month that uh, uh, means every. Every first day of the month, your account has $1,000. <clears throat> now, if you lose how? If let's say that particular month, your, your account dropped below $1,000, then you top up from MetaMask lah, to $1,000. You get what I'm saying? It means your winnings are in MetaMask. That's your cash wallet. Then obviously, uh. As I said, when you trade, put some of your money in your cash wallet, put some of your money in your investment wallet. So your investment wallet, you buy coins. Lah. So those go, go into your, your, meta, your, your nano wallet. So your, your, your ledger nano is your investment wallet. Your MetaMask is your cash wallet. Then this is your trading wallet. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So you'll be safe. Okay, you're going to cancel all, then press cancel all. Okay, any questions regarding buy bit? Uh, uh, Kevin, just now when I register, right, I think they mentioned we can link to trading trading view for the uh, alert or yeah, something. Uh, okay.
So if you, if you, let's say you think that think that uh Bitcoin is gonna go down, right? You made a wrong the wrong choice by longing. So reverse position. <laughs> I think I have to try first, lah, then can get the hang of it. Yeah, I miss part, so I'm going to watch the first part first. Yep, you all can try first. Okay. Once you get the hang of it, you will like it. <clears throat> okay, uh, one more thing is uh you can have that fun thing over here. Lah. Just by clicking here. Then you have that fun thing over here. All right. <clears throat> okay so KuCoin don't have this right except on the mobile app uh. so KuCoin website don't have this Bybit has this that's why I can use Bybit everyone <clears throat> yeah one more thing is uh the charts uh, for KuCoin's chart on TradingView is different from what is reflected on the KuCoin uh, exchange. There are, there are slight differences. Because the KuCoin if I'm not wrong, uh, all these charts here are for the, the spot market. It's not a perpetual future. And I cannot find perpetual in... I cannot find perpetuals for KuCoin. You see, if let's say I go to KuCoin, don't have right. It's, it's all spot market. But if I but if I go to Binance, I get Binance perp charts. Right. If I go to buy bit, I also get buy bit per charts. Okay, just KuCoin doesn't have one. So if you are trading on KuCoin, you need to be careful. You need to you need to look carefully. Okay, you analyze on trading view. Then when you go to KuCoin, yeah, okay, there will be slight differences in terms of the price, lah. So you need to be careful right, with your entries and your stop loss. Okay. So any more questions regarding uh, Bybit? If not, then uh, that's the end of the training. You got any questions regarding other things, other things other than Bybit? Nothing. For me, nothing now because I haven't tried yet. Okay. So the rest got nothing. Kevin, the recording will be in Discord or in the WhatsApp. Well, I put it in Discord. Okay, ten. Thanks. <clears throat> Uh, 
So nothing then uh, call it the night lah. Okay. Good luck to you guys. Have a good night. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Kevin. Good night. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Bye. Bye.